Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. My husband and I took a little short trip to an indoor event a couple of days ago and I thought you might enjoy seeing what it is that we found. I spent about $141 for the things that I'm going to show you. This first piece I've got hanging here and it is this adorable little child's coat. You can see the length there. And of course this hasn't been ironed or pressed any, but it has this beautiful white embroidery detail on the capelet type of color as well as down here on the bottom of it all the way around with two little buttons here. Just really sweet piece. The other things I have laid out here, I found another one of these silver plate vanity type of shoulder brushes. This one is monogrammed. I sell a lot of these and this one is in very good condition. I uh, found another tracing wheel. This is a sewing tool and you can see the pointy edge little wheel there. That's used for tracing patterns with the lovely patina on the wood handle. I picked up another Civil War era fork, the three tine, with the wood handle. I sell a lot of those, so that will go in with my other forks and knives. I found uh, straw stuff really hard, which is uh, an early one, tomato pin cushion. Uh, anyone that is um, a sewer knows that these straw stuffed pin cushions work so much better than the cotton stuffed ones. Your pins just go in and out so much e more easily and it keeps your pins sharp. This is a little ironstone underplate or oval plate and it's heavily modeled which I love. I love the aging and that only comes with age and I, I just really enjoy that and it's makes some, it makes a nice display piece whenever you've got them like that. Here in the back here, this is the greatest little oval antique frame. It's got the little a velvet, this is all velvet around here, and then this is a tin bow on top, and that'll come with a little metal easel. I got this pop bottle. It's, a, it's an odd-shaped pop bottle. I didn't buy it for the bottle per, uh, exactly. I just bought it for the shape, and I'll be probably um, adding one of those sprinkler tops to it, the type that they would have used whenever you were sprinkling or dampening your clothes for laundry purposes. Let me get that one out of the way, excuse me. Then I found four of these early wood hangers. I love the kind that have that arc like that. One is painted, two is a, are thicker. This one is more round back here. Uh, this one is a advertising piece, and it does say Holland, Holland Rising cleans, demoths, revitalizes fur and lining. So that is a great old hanger there. I found a tin cream or dipper, cream spoon or dipper is what I would call that. Nice little early piece. A couple of granite ware pieces. This one is a soap dish with the cobalt blue bottom and white interior. Again, not cleaned up yet. Let me see where I can put that. Oops, I'm afraid I'm going to bang into stuff. And then this is a nice granite ware oval platter, and that one is about 15 inches long. I mean, it does say Sweden on the bottom of that mark there. In very good condition, that is. Let me move some things here so I can go to the front. It's a charming little coin purse. You can see how little it is against my hand there. I sell a lot of those and that's cute. And People even put those with dolls and stuff so they're really sought after. And here is a straight razor. I'm probably not going to be able to open it with one hand but um, it has that wonderful tortoise shell type of uh, handle there. And here is a candle snuffer. This is the scissor type. It's a candle wick trimmer 
and snuffer. This one never had legs, so this one would just lay flat on the on the uh, tabletop. Now this is an early ice chipper, and as you can see, with that all that wear on the handle, and it's got an early repair. I always love early repairs. As you can see, they just did not throw a thing away. And we can learn from that, can't we? But anyway, that just adds to its charm, in my opinion. Then I found a pair of these Butterwork hands, is what they're called. They're, they're grooved. And they were used in butter making. And they do say, on the handles, on each handle, made in Germany. I don't know if it's picking that up for you or not, but it's very light there on the handle. Made in Germany. Then I bought this. It's a little piece of ephemera and it's an advertising piece and it was for white, white I think, lilac soap. And I just thought that piece would just be a wonderful little piece with the right frame. Make a great piece to hang in someone's bathroom or to add to your collection of course. And I found a couple of little early textbooks from the 19th century. This one is a grammar book. Cute picture of children there on the front. And this one, the cover is more plain, but it's Modern Grammar School Reader, and it is an early reader. And you can see, I saw a lot of early textbooks and things. Uh, here in the back, this is about eight and a half inches tall, and it's a cobalt decorated crock. You can see the beautiful cobalt decoration all around. Then I got this wonderful little children's, it's a very light aqua satin baby bonnet. It's all lined on the inside. It needs some streamers. You can see how cute it is in the back. And I also got another fluter. Now I showed one of these and I did sell one of these recently, but it was different from this. It had a it had the the part that had the fluter was designed with a handle like a flat iron. This one is designed completely different as you can see. This one, however, does have and this is heavy for me to pick up with one end, so I hope I am able to do this. This shows the patent date of 1866 on the bottom. This is the part that would have been heated on the stove. And this was used to make creases in the big collars and things of their clothes, if you can imagine that. And then I got just four little children's or baby slips there, cotton slips, which I like to add to my baby department. So those are the things that I found on this outing and I thank you for watching and I will direct your attention to the, to the description of this video where you will find a description of my web page, as, I mean a link to my web page and my online store. I sell a lot of things in my online store as well, vintage as well as antiques, so you might want to hop over there and check that out. Also, I'd like to invite you where I sell antiques in my antique booth. It's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. I'm on the left side of this large mall third row. Just look for the large vintage touch sign that hangs in the back of my double space booth. And then I'd like to invite you to subscribe. If you have not already, I would just love to have you join my viewing community here on YouTube. And if uh, you like this type of thing, you might want to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I put up another video. And then finally, let me encourage you always to enjoy your antique collecting because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.